Ah, I slip high school. Home of the Buccaneers. Where to begin? I guess the best place to begin is outside. There's some nice shrubbery and the notice board and the beautiful pond across the street. But as you move inside, the whole scene changes. It brings you to the busiest hallway in the school, but have no fear. If you take a left, you'll make your way to the guidance offices, health offices, and the social worker's office, which is the nicest office in the building. Here you can let off steam, express your feelings, have someone help calm you down, and much more, as you relax on a nice piece of furniture and talk to the calmest person you'll ever meet. Now off to the health office. This is where you go if you feel sick, get injured, or need to talk out your problems with the social worker. This is also where the school doctor comes to do physicals, which brings us to the sports side of Islip. Islip has a variety of sports teams, all of which welcome you to try out. You like golf? We've got a team for that. You like football? We've definitely got a team for that. Islip has over 35 junior varsity and varsity sports to choose from. And where do the Islip Buccaneers practice and play? On nothing short of a glorious arena. Our new turf field is the perfect place for our sports teams to practice and win. And ISOP is always looking for the players who are up for the challenge to bring ISOP the win. But we promote scholar athletes in ISOP, so first and foremost are your passing grades. And from the gym we come back to the guidance offices. Always felt like the middle school didn't give you enough choices and courses? Well then you'll be excited to hear that ISOP offers over 140 classes. A good number of those classes are geared towards your interests. For example, you can take a course called Birds of Long Island, or you can join the Business Academy and take Virtual Enterprises. You might want to take the radio station course that's offered here. Not only that, but if you have any ideas, you could pass them by any of our building administrators. Mr. Mosca is the principal, Ms. Ward is the assistant principal in charge of 9th and 10th grades, and Mr. Youngerkiss, aka Mr. J, is also an assistant principal in charge of 11th and 12th grades. Mr. Modica, who you may know from the middle school, is our dean of students. He works with Ms. Ward, Mr. Mosca, and Mr. Youngerkiss. And speaking of the authoritative powers that I slip, why don't we head over to the attendance office? From the main entrance, make a right. The attendance office is located in room 112 where you will find Miss Nina, the attendance secretary, Miss Ward, your assistant principal, Mrs. D, who is Miss Ward's secretary, and Mr. Modica, our dean. Here's where you go first if you're ever late or absent from school. Miss Nina will take your notes and give you late passes. You'll get called down to Miss Ward's office if you don't bring in a note or if you are late to class. You'll be given a chance to bring in a note. If you don't, you'll get detention. Come on, we're going out. What are you waiting for? I got in trouble. I didn't have a lane pass. But, as ISOP students, you should know the right thing to do and what the consequences are for doing the wrong thing. Before we continue, room 110 is our designated detention room. Here, if you receive detention, you will be required to do work. You cannot just sit and do nothing, and you may have lunch attention, which means you'll eat your lunch in room 110 after you check in and are sent to the cafeteria to get your lunch. You may have after school detention or late detention. After school detention is 40 minutes after classes are over, and extended detention is an additional 40 minutes after after school detention. Best to not get detention at all. Continuing down the hallway, you'll find the senior lounge on your right. You can use this before and after school, but during the school day it is reserved for seniors only. On your left is the new auditorium. Over the summer last year, the pool on the third floor collapsed and caused the whole auditorium to flood. Finally, we got the money to completely renovate the auditorium and put in all new stuff. And we have some inside connections, so just for you, we can give you a sneak peek. Hey, what are you guys doing out there? You can't be out there. Guys, Come why, on. why are you on the roof? What's going on? What are you on? doing on the roof? Let's go. We're looking for the pool on the roof. Yeah, the last one collapsed. Yeah, that's why the auditorium flooded. You guys are not allowed out here. Let's go. There's no pool on the roof. You want to get expelled? Get inside. There is a pool. Yeah, we brought our own. Yeah. Mrs. Lucas, guess where Miss Ward found these kids? Yeah. On the roof. Yeah. Now, let's continue down the hallway. Finally, we make it to our amazing cafeteria. You'll absolutely love this cafeteria because of the food choices and new freedoms it provides. 
At the middle school, you have assigned seating. In the high school, you have the freedom to sit wherever you want, and you can change your seat whenever you want. You also have a multitude of food choices to fit your daily cravings. This is a great period to catch up with your friends or do some classwork, or just take time to relax from the stresses of the day. Leaving the cafeteria, we will be making a right, which brings us to the music hallways. We have a top-notch music program at the high school led by our three key teachers, Dr. Harris, Mr. Campanella, and Mr. Butterfield. We have groups to fill every musician's needs. Dr. Harris is the director of all musicals and play productions, which are a big deal at the high school and which you can certainly find a place to participate. Mr. Campanella handles all things band side with the jazz band, marching band, wind ensemble, and concert band, and Mr. Butterfield handles everything on the strings side with his electric string ensemble, chamber orchestra, and regular orchestra. Continuing down this hallway, we get to the photography room. Still in its new stages, this is the filming headquarters where this film was produced and where you can learn the magic of filmmaking and editing. Next to this room is the wood shop, which is one of our many electives. Continuing down this hallway and making a left will bring you to our foreign language hallway and two of our art rooms. This is where you'll be for any of your foreign language classes, and down this hallway are some of our resource rooms and some English classrooms. Continuing past the staircase, make a right and you'll find yourself in the science wing. This is one of the busiest hallways in the school. You may run into Dr. Christensen, who is the master of our STEM program. When walking around this corridor, make sure to keep your head up and watch out for students who aren't paying attention. The students here may seem menacing, but rest assured that no one's going to bully you. ISOP wants everyone to be themselves, so be yourself and people respect who you are. Any bullying worries need to be brought to the attention of our assistant principal, Ms. Ward, and Mr. J, or you can go to our dean, Mr. Modica, or even the principal himself, Mr. Mosca. They will squish the bullying immediately. There isn't any bullying here at Isop High School. They all get along pretty well. Yeah, no one really gets shoved into lockers. Notice now we are back at the main entrance, where we started. However, you may now notice the wide staircase, which brings us to another busy area of our school. When you get to the top of the stairs, you can look right and you'll see our very own library. Our library is going to be a major key to your success. Here, there are plenty of computers to use for school assignments as well as tables to do your work. And let's just say you want to spend your lunch period studying or catching up on work, but the cafeteria is too noisy, you can request a pass and work in the quiet section of the library. A wide variety of books can also help you get any info you need, and Mrs. Seymour, our librarian, always has something going on there so you'll want to stop in there from time to time to see what's what. Leaving the library, the hallway splits into three. To your left and right are the math hallways as well as computer labs. Straight ahead will lead you to the English and Social Studies hallways. Going to your right at the end will lead you to our English classrooms, the department head's office, and the copying room. Now you've seen just about the entire school. And now that the tour is done, we can tell you about the, some of the specifics at Isop High School. As previously mentioned, we have over 140 courses and over 30 after-school clubs. That's a lot of classes and clubs to choose from and to be involved with. While you obviously can't be in everything, there's a good chance that you'll have an interest in something because everything is available here. We have tons of clubs from video games and card games to science olympiads to fishing. And let's say we don't have what you want. Then you and a few friends can find a teacher to supervise your club and propose it to the principal and the assistant principals. Speaking of which, Miss Ward, Mr. Mosca, Mr. J, and Mr. Modica, and all the staff are here to make your high school experience the way you want it to be. You don't have to fear them or any staff member. But don't take my word for it. You'll see when you get here, and you'll make this experience the way you want it to be. ISOP High School is your next step in education, and it is a huge land of opportunity and creativity for you to make it your own. Just remember, all of you need a high school diploma to take your next steps in your adult life, but you can have some fun with it along the way, and enjoy the experience.